Hi, I'm a tree teacher, and I've said this very same thing many times to many different people, and they told me, really? Why are you going to teaching? Or, that's really brave of you, which also means that's completely nuts. Now, I used to have many passions, and the biggest of them all was art. I really loved drawing, which I still do now. And I, until my junior year, I truly believed that I was going to pursue a degree in fine arts. Until I started to think to myself, is this really what I want to do? Now, I come from South Korea, so I had to take this class called ESOL, which was for those who spoke English as their second language. And I gotta admit that, honestly, I really hated learning English, because, and my mis my teacher, Ms. Graff, made me do this thing where I had to raise my fingers every time there was a syllable in a word, which was a bit of hassle, but what I really admired about her was that she made sure that I walked out of that classroom knowing what syllables were. And that's the first time that I thought, oh my god, this is really what I wanted to do. Teaching. And that same passion never went away. Right now, I'm involved in CAPS teacher education class, and I currently work at a tutoring center where I get to enjoy tutor math. Now, I've got to tell you that working in teaching field got me to realize a few things, such as some students are really dreadful and hard to deal with. Um, just a few weeks ago, through my CAPS teacher ed class, I got a, this amazing opportunity to go down to India Valley Elementary School to help them with their math workshop. And the group of, group of kids that I had were very loud and getting out of control. So I said, oh no, you guys, you guys need to follow directions, otherwise you guys are going to get into trouble, and I'm going to have to call your parents in. Do you guys want that to happen? And they said, yeah, we want to get in trouble. So I told them, bless your heart. Now, I'm a very empathetic and kind-hearted and warm person, and very humble as well. So, grading papers for me can be really harsh at times. And I listened to a TED Talk by Rita Pearson called Every Kid is a Champion. And I, from that TED Talk, I learned a strategy, which I had to apply in tutoring. And this is what happened. So I was tutoring geometry, so I gave a quiz, six questions, and a student missed five. So I put plus one and a smiley face, and he came up to me and asked, Mr. Kilby, is, is this an F? So I said, yes, it sure is. And he asked, well, why did you put plus one and smiley face if I got an F? So I told him, because he did a good job. You got one right. You did not miss them all. <laughs> so I told him, you see, won't you do better if you had one more try? Because I know you can. You see, minus five can really suck life out of you, but plus one tells you you are not all that bad. In the future, someone will walk into my classroom as somebody, but when, when he walks out of my classroom, he'll be better than somebody. And do I think this profession is tough? I bet you it is. But I do not think it is impossible because I was born to make a difference and I'm going to make a difference. Thank you very much.